Hi, I'm back. Um, I went to the library the other day, and there's this card outside, and uh, I found that book the other time. And this time, I found these boxes, and uh, I took a look at them, and I thought, let's open them on camera again. Um, so, this is what I have. Um, it is old technology. It's a cassette tape and some slides of some photographs. All right, so let's open up one of the boxes. I have three of them. All right, let's see. Let me put my glasses on. All right, this one says Genesis the Creation. It has a cassette tape, and it was upside down. So, what this is, is a cassette tape that goes in a machine that has the slides, and you play the um, cassette, and it advances the slides. So this one's on the creation. And I wasn't sure exactly what it what it was because it was upside down. I thought, well, that's cool. Let's do that. So there are several and they're all numbered. Let's see how many are in here. Oh, there's quite a few. Look at that. Back in the day when I was in college getting my teaching certificate, we, we learned to run machines like this. So, it, um, oh, that's pretty good. Look at them all. It has several. There you go. Let's see if there's a, a little book. Nope, no little book. There was there was a few more boxes in there and uh, the next two boxes really caught my attention okay for those of you who um, don't know I live in the part of Houston that had that uh, where NASA is Johnson Space Center There's a museum there, and people visit it. And if you go to resale shops, and uh, now I can see you. If you go to resale shops and look around in antique stores, you're going to find um, what I call space trash. Not the stuff floating around outside, but the, the things left over from... Um, different projects that they had from the shuttle mission, Apollo, um, you, you never know what you're going to find. So um, these are the two boxes that really caught my attention. Let's see if it's what I think it is. Yes, I think it is. This says Voyager 1 encounters Saturn. Now this week, Voyager 2 sent back a report that there is, there are different sounds and stuff on it and people don't, the scientists don't know what it is. The sounds are about, because it's gone really far in the 40 years or so that it's been flying. This is Voyager 1 and uh, has um, photographs taken that were sent back. And yes, it looks like there's just about the same amount of slides. Now for those of you who don't know the technology, slides are just photographs that they you can um, shine light from the back and they will sh uh, shine, they will, the image can be 
um, put on a wall. People used to have home movies this way. If they didn't have um, a Super 8 movie camera, then they had slideshows. Okay, so this is Voyager 1, and from what I understand, Voyager 1 didn't make it. So, I guess I made a mistake back there. And, this one's Voyager 2 that we heard of this week. And this is called Saturn Encounter. Voyager 2 Encounter Saturn. And I would not be surprised if these were used in schools, but they're not marked that way. Alright, and it has several photographs. Um, I don't, I don't know. There's the probe. Let's see if I can see how the the image. Let's see. There it is. You can kind of see the image. There you go. Of the. Let's see what this one is. Alright, so that was a cool find. And this one's a little more recent because these are plastic. They last longer. The others are cardboard. And uh, there we go. You never know what you're going to find in resale shops and antique stores in the Houston area in regards to um, what's left over from the space program. Uh, I have found patches. I have found... Um, ceramic ware that people made and decorated. I have found stickers. I have found uh, items of clothing that have uh, emblems on them. Um, but this was irresistible. It was at the library on the, um, on the take it cart outside. So there we are. Bye bye.